September 2008, the La Mesa State Penitentiary in Tijuana, Mexico. On this night, it's the most violent place in one of the world's most dangerous cities. Prisoners are rioting to protest inhumane conditions and the killing of an inmate. There are 8,100 inmates here in a prison built to hold half that many. When the smoke clears, 23 inmates will have lost their lives. Distraught families get their most reliable information from someone who knows La Mesa from the inside out. Because she lives here. Her name is Mother Antonia. And the prison has been her address since 1978. La Mesa was a very different place then, not at all like an American prison. There was a central yard where you might see a baseball game in progress. You could buy a taco or get your shoes shined. It was nicknamed El Pueblito, the little town. And if you had money, you could live in a comfortable room or caraca. Some of the mafia guys who had a lot of money had a very nice second story kind of condo. I walked in and mother had to tell the guy, you know, he's with me, he's religious, uh, and clear it because he had three armed guards of his own. Welcome. Mother Antonia has had her own caraca at La Mesa, a tiny apartment little changed in more than 30 years. It's not the sort of place you'd expect to find a woman who started life in Beverly Hills. She was born Mary Clark, December 1st, 1926, the daughter of Irish immigrants. She was a blue-eyed beauty who grew up in a mansion. Her neighbors were Hollywood celebrities. She married twice and raised seven children, but both marriages ended in divorce. Those were two strikes which, under normal circumstances, would have kept her from becoming a nun. Uh, it probably has contributed a great deal to my vocation because uh, it has allowed me to know what failure is, what disgrace is, what joy is, what pain is, what losing is, what winning is. Through the years, Mary felt a calling to help others, a quest that brought her to Tijuana and La Mesa Penitentiary. I got here because God's grace brought me here and a calling inside of me, a longing to serve God in the person and the presence of those rejected by the world. And so Tijuana was a perfect place for me to come, and I've loved it ever since. Maria Diaz has made trips to the prison